Hello everyone and welcome to Jacklet Educational Channel. So we are continuing the crash course series in which we are discussing expected questions for environmental science examination. So this is the part six and we are considering the unit seven of net environmental science, which is solid and hazardous waste management. So those who haven't checked the previous lessons, you can check the link given in the description below. So आइए शुरू करते हैं आज का ये वीडियो. So the first question which we are going today is a match the following. Yes. In the match the following, it is asking to join the correct hazardous waste with its treatment process. So the hazardous waste can be found in the water, air, or soil. So these are given in the left hand side the hazardous waste, and we have to match with the correct treatment process. So here, for your convenience, I have already put the correct match in front of the hazardous waste. Yes, the adjacent side gives the treatment process, so we will know one by one. So cyanide जो है hazardous waste, they are treated with the help of ozonization technique, or it is also known as ozonation technique. So ये आपको remember करना है. Next is hazardous waste which are found in the aqueous with metal. So aqueous जो है liquid form में होता है, उसके साथ अगर metal incorporated है, so the process which will be used for its treatment is called as carbon adsorption process. Next comes PCBs. So what are PCBs? They are polychlorinated biphenyls. So in the treatment process, we call it fluidized bed incineration. And next comes the chlorinated organics. So organics which are having chlorine compounds are treated with the simple step of evaporation. Although it is not that much useful, but still it is used to treat the chlorinated organics in the first stage. So here I would like to say that two things are very important. That's why I have taken two different slides. to explain the ozonization technique and the carbon adsorption technique but the fluid as bed incineration is a kind of incineration process that is the burning process in which the pcbs are found in the waste are burnt with the help of a fluid that is called as fluid as bed technique next comes the chlorinated organics which we have already discussed jisme chlorine paya jata hai they are treated with the help of evaporation so as the chlorine evaporates in the atmosphere and leaves behind the waste without the hazardous compound which is chlorine so let's move on to the next slide so here we are going to discuss about the carbon adsorption technique which is used to remove the metals from the aqueous solution so ye the hai bahut hi simple step hai so this is very similar to the process in which the filters that is water filters are used in our homes so usme kya hota hai activated carbon you would have heard so this term activated carbon they are used to filter most of the hazardous waste along with metals which are found in water so isme kya hota hai so let us assume there is a contaminated liquid that is aqueous solution with metals first it will pass through the particulate filter that's why the bigger particles will filter out then it will be treated as the influent which will go inside the carbon adsorption chamber so what is this this is the bed that is the complete bed the complete storage is made up of carbon which is normally taken from the organic part of the atmosphere that is organic carbon next what happens is the carbon used to adsorb so adsorption ka matlab hai suppose this is the surface and the particles are sticking on the surface it is known as adsorption absorption is what a b s o r p t i o n that is means it is absorbed through the surface but when it is sticking on the surface it is called as adsorption so yahan pe bhi same phenomena hota hai jab ye influent the water which is consisting of hazardous waste goes inside the carbon bed channel then this carbon bed sticks the metal compound which are hazardous on this bed such as here you can see they are stuck there and the purified water that is the aqueous without metal passes out as effluent so you should remember this is a very simple step carbon bed is there and it absorbs the particles which are metal particles and as a result we have to change the carbon bed or carbon filter present in our water aquifer also regularly or else there are certain carbon bed or activated carbon bed which are washable so we can wash them to remove all these toxic elements now let's move to the next slide next slide we will discuss about the ozonization or ozonation technique which is used to remove cyanides present mostly in the waste water so the treatment of cyanide containing waste water is carried out with the help of ozone and two other things you should remember and note it down the hydrogen peroxide and alkaline chlorination technique is also used to remove the cyanide from the waste water so how this ozone helps i will tell you with a very simple step so cyanide that means cn minus such as we assume it is present in the waste water and 
दैट आयन इज अटैक्ड बाय द ओजोन मॉलिक्यूल ओजोन मॉलिक्यूल जब उसको अटैक करता है वट हैपन्स इज ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस ओजोन इज अ वेरी गुड ऑक्सीडेंट सो वट हैपन्स इज ऑक्सीडेशन हो जाता है सी एन माइनस का दैट इज सी एन आइट का सो वट हैपन्स इज सी एन माइनस दैट इज इट लूजेज द इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड इट इज फॉर्म टू एन टू दैट इज नाइट्रोजन गैस एंड द कार्बन इज इमिटेड आउट एज द कार्बोनेट आय और कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो हाउ यू शुड बी रिमेम्बरिंग एंड यू शुड बी वॉन्डरिंग दैट दैट वाई एच इज प्रेजेंट हियर बट हियर नो एच इज फाउंड सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल बिकॉज एज एप सेड इट इज फाउंड इन द वेस्ट वाटर सो वाटर फॉर्मूला इज एच टू ओ सो द एच कम्स फ्रॉम द वाटर सो दिस इज नॉट द बैलेंस इक्वेशन बट यू शुड नो वेन सी एन माइनस इज अटैक्ड बाय ओजोन इट इज ऑक्सीडाइज एंड इट रिड्यूसेज द इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रेजेंट इन इट विच फॉर्म्स नाइट्रोजन एंड कार्बोनेट आय ऑक्सीजन एंड दे आर सब्सिक्वेंटली ट्रीटेड विथ अदर प्रोसेस सो एज टू गेट द प्यूरिफाइड वाटर सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द बायोगैस प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम द लैंड फिल साइड्स आर ड्यू टू द एक्शन ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एंड हियर मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स विल डू द करेक्ट आंसर एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल ऑप्शन नंबर ए एन एरोबिक बैक्टीरिया यस एन एरोबिक बैक्टीरिया प्रोड्यूस द बायोगैस फ्रॉम द लैंड फिल्स सो लेट एस नो वट इज लैंड फिल मोस्ट ऑफ यस यू विल बी नोइंग दट लैंड फिल्स आर द म्यूनिसपल सॉलिड वेस्ट डंपिंग साइट यस द म्यूनिसपल सॉलिड वेस्ट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ द गार्बेजेस फ्रॉम द हाउस होल्ड्स किचन गार्डन्स एंड स्कूल्स आर स्टोर्ड और आर डिस्पोज ऑफ इन द लैंड फिल्स विच आर पर्टिकुलरली अरेंज बाय द म्यूनिसपालिटी इन ए वेरी सिक्योर्ड एंड सेफ प्लेस सो दे आर द सोर्स ऑफ बायोगैस बिकॉज द लैंड फिल्स एनरबिक बैक्टीरिया आर प्रेजेंट विच कन्वर्ट द म्यूनिसपल सॉलिड वेस्ट इन टू डिफरेंट वेराइटी ऑफ गैसेज नोन एज बायोगैस सो दिस बायोगैस इज वेरी हेल्पफुल बिकॉज इट इज द सोर्स ऑफ मीथेन विच कैन बी यूज एज द फ्यूल फॉर्म सो लेट्स सी हाउ दिस थिंग्स टेक्स प्लेस सो इन दिस स्लाइड यूल बी एबल टू सी दैट हियर दिस इज द pictorial representation of modern landfill site so what is there so first thing is the garbage the landfill consisting of the garbage of municipal solid waste so these blocks are showing the trash so here we have to store them and then we have to seal them with the presence of landfill liner so why you have to seal seal hame isliye karna hota hai because they should not move from the garbage the toxic materials into the water bodies nearby the ground water aquifer next is how this landfill liner are there so landfill liners mostly consist of butyl rubber or bentonite so there are many other things but you should remember at least two that is butyl rubber and bentonite next thing is why this leachate are very dangerous because this leachate system is consisting of several hazardous and toxic material so they are passed on to the leachate treatment system and they are then disposed of after their treatment takes place next thing which is important i have said that methane gas is released due to the anaerobic bacteria degrading and disassociating this garbage so yahan se methane we have to store here so it is the kind of well type where methane gas is recovered and used as fuel so we'll see how these steps work due to the presence of bacteria let's move to the next slide so here most of you will be having the misconception that only anaerobic process takes place inside the landfill no because aerobic process also takes place the aerobic bacteria is also there so they are also helping in the degradation of the waste so we'll know one by one what are the steps and stages inside the landfill so first is waste organic fraction so waste organic fraction the meaning is the organic matter which is present in the municipal solid waste when it is mixed with plastics other materials which are not municipal solid waste then it is called as constituent of waste organic fraction so then what happens is the first step takes place that is hydrolysis which is the aerobic degradation process so you have to remember in this process carbon dioxide and water are released as gases so you should remember that carbon dioxide is predominant in the initial stage of the landfill site the next step is the anaerobic stage starts so this whole process is called as anaerobic stage we will discuss in the next slide no need to see here but you should know that first is aerobic then comes anaerobic and the final stage in the landfill for breaking down or degrading the municipal solid waste is aerobic that is the stage number 5 so this process is oxidation and in the whole process every time the leachate is coming out so leachate comes out from there which is any liquid 
that is passing through the matter extracts which are soluble or suspended solids so you should remember here that in every stages that is from aerobic to anaerobic to then aerobic stage every stage leachates are coming out from the waste material when they are degraded and they are then obstructed by the liners present inside the landfills let's move to the next slide so these are the four important stages found in the anaerobic stages of the degradation of solid waste so these are done by the anaerobic bacteria the first process is hydrolysis so lysis means the breakage so breaking down of polymers into their simpler form that is monomers so carbohydrates are broken down into sugar proteins and lipids are broken down into amino acids and fatty acids respectively so next step kya hai next step is acidogenesis so genesis meaning is formation so what is formed acid is formed so acids are formed from this monomer that is carbonic acid formed volatile fatty acids and several other acids are formed next step is acetogenesis so genesis means i has have told it is formation formation of acetone or acetic acid so with this help of acids acetic acid is produced in the acetogenesis process the final step is known as methanogenesis so methane production is there which is our main concern because we need to take it as fuel from the landfill site with the help of the anaerobic bacteria so this all comprise of the biogas so what is there the most important thing the maximum percentage is of methane followed by carbon dioxide then it will be its different gases such as ammonia h2s carbon dioxide and water vapor so as you can see this is the complete process which happens in the landfill but anaerobic stage only helps to produce the methane which is the matter of concern because it is used as fuel and the complete anaerobic process is with four step that is hydrolysis acidogenesis acetogenesis and methanogenesis so i hope now you will not get confused let's move to the final thing which i am going to discuss so the thing is in last class of this crash course i have told you that the black color dust been used in the biomedical waste is used for cytotoxic drug and chemical waste but after the latest amendment these waste are not kept in the black color container so this container is outdated now but if in question it is asking that black color container is used for what you can go for cytotoxic drug and chemical waste but if it is asking that where the cytotoxic drug and chemical waste are stored as per the biomedical waste new rule so as per the amendment they are stored in the yellow color container yes so as per the latest amendment the cytotoxic drug and medicine are stored in the yellow color container in biomedical waste rest everything is same so if you haven't checked the previous video you can go to the link given in the description below so keep watching this channel and if you like this don't forget to share this with your friend and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed till now